Hey guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the another video 467 and in this video again we are going to talk about the pivot, right? Uh, recently I just uploaded, um, you know, uh, a couple of hours back the two videos on the pivot where we talked about the six amazing features in the pivot and pivot is something as you know that if you're working in excel pivot is something which you cannot simply you know ignore pivots are the integral part of excel and we can make pretty awesome reports and the dashboard using the pivot so for all those people who extensively work in excel or otherwise also you know who work in excel they must watch those two videos video number 466 and 67 right part one part two now in this video i'm going to talk i'm going to um, you know explore a little more about the pivot i'm going to tell you that whenever you use their range uh, any table you know uh, which has a data how basically you can make the pivots dynamic when i say dynamic i mean that anytime when you insert a new data in the pivot pivot is automatically going to capture that otherwise uh, normally it doesn't do that right so we will discuss all these things uh, in very detail and uh, for those who are watching the channel for the first time who who knocked at the door for the first time on this channel i welcome all of you i graciously graciously welcome all of you and I, I i bet that if you go and watch all these 465 videos you will not be disappointed because all these videos are amazing and the reason is that most of the videos are an attempt to answer your my subscribers queries so you will find tons of the case studies here guys 467 videos are divided into four categories which i always say in the picnic and these are the four categories excel excel vba access front end and access VPA and these are all the playlists which you are supposed to watch if you really want to you know be an expert and this is the sequence which which you should actually watch these are all the playlist name right if you do not know what does the playlist mean playlist simply means that if every youtuber has this option of the playlist and I have created these playlists for you now these are all the access access vba excel and excel vba videos there are 45 different different playlists guys and if you go inside that for example this video talks about excel vba charts and the pivots it means that we talked about the charts and the pivots but using the excel vba it is not a normal excel so you find that 11 videos are there right so that's how guys you are supposed to watch these videos right if i click on this then this is all the videos are lined up you can see so start watching the videos like this part one part two and then this video and then this video and then this video you know so basically if you follow this kind of hierarchy you will have the benefit right now let's talk about what we are going to discuss in this video now guys um, you see that uh, this is my very small data in front of you right now that's a data which I'm going to use uh, in the pivot right so normally how we create the pivot first of all let's understand that well you go to the insert um, or you can use the shortcut key as well I click on the pivot table and here you know we basically go and select the raw data like this we select the raw data and I just press ok and the moment I press ok that's how the table looks like to me you know this wizard comes and then obviously I can insert the you know uh, the different different items as per my requirement right now the thing is uh, you when you use this the, the table it actually starts from C1 to uh, G24 so if you if you look at my pivot if, if you have paid attention you see that let me show you if I just go and click on this anywhere in this pivot and I just go to the analyze option if you are not using Excel 2016 you you won't see this option there I think in 2013 and the previous versions you get to see here a version uh, a tab called layout so what you need to do is you need to click on the change source data you click on the change source data and if you look at this carefully it doesn't talk about that C1 to G24 it says tier city data why it is that now this is the another way of describing the table I'll first of all show you what I mean actually so if I select this table you see that it clearly says that my range is C1 to G8 and my sheet name is raw obviously so that's why by default the sheet name always gets inserted but how about if I just select this entire table why it is not showing me C1 to G24 the reason is very simple because I have actually converted this table converted this range I would say into a name manager you can see that it says tier city data now this is something which I talked in my previous video as well now this is another way of defining the table right so so the point is uh, it doesn't matter whether you define that table 
in the name manager you select this and you go here and you know you just uh, give it a name or maybe you select that manually the thing is which we want to discuss here is if I just go and let's say I add here one more item for example I go and write here let's say um, triple n let's say and I write some number here 100 and I write here again uh, let's say I write here grad and I write here let's say tier 5 and let's say I give some number right now you know that your your pivot is now the data is uh, we have added one more line similarly I mean you could add 20 lines as well uh, 100 lines as well but the point is when you define this table if you look at this my tier city data it still selects that so either you have the option either you go to the formula and you click on the name manager and from this name manager you just modify this to g25 right but this is something you're not going to do every time manually because the problem is that if I just refresh this pivot I right click on that and I refresh you see that that n n n is not coming here which actually should be a part of this pivot isn't it because your data is coming you, you have a new data so there's a there are two methods basically one is using the offset and that I already talked in my one of the videos you can go and check that the playlist which I was showing you Excel VV charts and the pivots and they'll find out that video which says that using the offset how to make the pivots dynamic but offset is advanced function many people they are not aware of the offset so what to do if you don't if you don't have that kind of a skill set where you know the offset function what other things we can do then what we can do is let me just delete that first of all let me just simply delete this pivot from here we're going to start the pivot from the scratch now I go here now guys what I'm going to do is you see that this is your table I go to the you know um, insert and I'm going to click on the table I click on the table and this is the pop-up which comes now you can also use the shortcut key the shortcut key is control plus T right so you just need to press control T and then what happens using the control T the table will be inserted so I'm just going to press control T in front of you control T you see that the same actually the window comes now what it says it says where is the data for your table now pivot your know, this Excel intelligence is so strong that if you're going to put your cursor anywhere in this table you know it's going to pick up the range for you automatically otherwise you can manually also select this from here but it since it has selected C1 to G25 which is my you know the original actually table so I'm just going to click OK and make sure that this table has headers this should be check marked well by default it is always so I just go and click OK now what's going to happen here you see that Excel will give you some formatting now don't think that this is just the formatting you also get to see the automatic filters right now it's not even just for the filters right this table doesn't mean that it is just here to you know you can use the filters this is a proper Excel table this is not the normal table which we are talking about right this is the the excel table and it has its own advantages now i'll tell you what is the use of it now if i just go down let's say i'm, I'm just going to down uh, i just go here now you see that the moment i now enter some data what's going to happen let me write here let's say uh let's say i, I just add here n and n again and i'm just going to you know just Control D it and I'm going to paste it. You see that the color formatting is already coming here, which means any time when you enter anything, if I just write here, let's say A J A Y, my name, you see that the table automatically resizes itself. So whatever you write here, that pick automatically starts becoming the table range. Let me undo that. Okay. Now suppose this is your final table, guys. Now what happens? I just go and make the pivot out of it. So I just go and insert and I just you know make the pivot of it so I'm just going to click on the uh, the insert and the pivot and I want this in the new worksheet so I keep my option this you can see that this is table 1 the range automatically it has a name and the name why it's coming table 1 because this is the table 1 if I just show you again let me cancel this you when you go to the design view this is the table name table 1 now let's say I give it a name called Ajay I press enter the name already exists name should be unique I think I already created this uh, so maybe let's say I write a my table I press enter the moment you press enter now the name is changed 
now again if you go to the insert and you click on the pivot table you see that this says now my table right so this is exactly the same way as we created the name manager previously i was showing you right but this is going to be uh, give us the dynamic pivot because in that name manager which i was which we created manually without this making this table excel table it was not expanding when you add some rows the pivot doesn't capture those rows automatically but this is we created this the, there was a normal range there was a normal table and i converted into an excel table by using the shortcut key control t or you can also go to the insert and table right so now let's say we want to create this table in the new worksheet i click ok now once i click ok you will have the same pivot generally like the pivot we use so i just go and you know uh, let's say i put the sales over here right now as you see that here i have got everything now let's go and do the testing now guys i go back here and in the my last row i just go and enter something now first of all i need to check that in my this pivot it's coming triple n as well great now let's go and write something so let me say that i'm just gonna write my name so let's say this is the one and i write a hundred and then i write here grad and then i write here let's say tier six and then i go and write here let's say 1000 now let's go back to the pivot and let's refresh the pivot so right click here and refresh bingo you got that new item automatically isn't it exciting you don't have to do anything you just converted that normal table into the excel table right so if i again go and i just you know write something else as well so for example i'm going to write abc which is already there let's add 100 more value and grad and then i just write here let's say tier 5 and then i just write here let's say 3000 right now if you go back to your this pivot again let's see that so th this is the abc uh, this is the abc the number should definitely change because i've added one more row so if i'm just going to do that you see that this is the number is changed right now one more interesting thing I want to check here so let's say you are changing the data you're expanding the table column wise as well now what to do with that so let's say I'm gonna add here one header okay and let's say I just go and write here status the moment you press enter your table is going to pick that new column for you right so if i just go and add here let's say mail mail and mail and mail let's say this is what i'm gonna write let's say and i just go and quickly let me fill all that information here okay so this is let's say we have this information with us let's say sort of this information is there now let's go back to the pivot and let's see that now when i click right click and i go to the show field list you see that this is what I get to see candidate name sales education city and the assets right now what we're gonna do is now let me click on this more table this say something no it doesn't it's it's just nothing so I just refresh this let me refresh it the moment you refresh it can you see that <laughs> your column is automatically added which you can now in fact use in your this pivot as well as you can see here right so guys tables excel tables i'm talking about because generally when you make any database you also treat this as a table but they are the normal tables right they are not the tables like which has this kind of a advantage right so that's how you can use this control t and you can convert the normal table into the excel table and this is one of the best benefit you would see in the pivot because then your table whenever it expands it's going to just capture the the pivot automatically otherwise you know what uh, in 2003 when we didn't have these tables what we used to do is we used to create the name manager using the offset function right and as I, as I said that uh, there is already a video on that you can also go and check that out right so uh, I hope uh, you 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 have uh, you must have found this uh, you know this this tables are very unique because normally uh, we don't convert our normal tables into these tables um, I to be very honest generally don't really create them but they are very useful 
right especially when you create the pivots and uh, when you create the charts right so again i'm repeating guys if you are new to the charts and the pivots uh, well i will not talk about the charts but if you're new to the pivots you can go to this excel uh, you know the playlist called uh, excel charts and the pivots and you can go and watch all those videos the way i mean they have the sequence there right so i have already uh, you know uh, put the videos in the sequence so that you don't have to really work hard on it just go and watch the videos in that sequence and you will get the amazing information on the pivots and if you if you know already pivot if you know what i have just talked about it and if you know everything or maybe if you have learned everything from my channel then now the time has come to go for the excel vba charts in the pivot you should go and watch this playlist because this is fantastic here i talked about how to create the pivot how to create the chart using the programming so in this you will learn that with just one click how you can make the pretty awesome pivot pivots on the auto mode the moment you click on the button and the pivots are going to be generated the moment you want to manipulate any any sort of pivot if you have 10 15 pivots and you want to you know change any specific pivot you can do that through the programming rather than working manually on it right so everything you will find on this channel and uh, uh, as always uh, to to support this channel i want you to be part of this channel so that uh, we should have more subscribers we should have more watch time and that's obviously going to be a you know a great great push for me to go further and upload more videos right so thank you so much for watching and i hope you'll subscribe and you will you'll don't forget to click on the like thank you so much guys i'll see you soon bye bye